everybody, it's Roxanne with Rox Talks, back for part two of Cultivating Your Spiritual Life. And uh, yesterday I talked with you about um, the first aspect of cultivating your spiritual life, with, which is to read the Bible and work on your relationship with God. Then the second is kind of a transitionary step between um, reading your Bible and praying. And I find that it's very helpful to take those scriptures that we just read um, and believe God for what he says in 2 Timothy 3.16, which says that all scripture is God-breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. And Mike Wilcox, who was the kind of the original author of this Cultivating Your Spiritual Life lecture that he gave to our Pioneers group, um, suggested that we make it very personal. So if you're journaling or if you're just praying out loud, that you take those things that God has just shown you through a scripture and um, you write them out as a prayer, uh, not as a prayer, as almost like a message from God. So here's an example. Uh, take for example the feeding of the 5,000. So you just read that for your quiet time and you want to write down then, what am I um, being taught by God today? But not just to write that out and, and say, okay, here's bullet point number one, but to say, God is saying, Roxanne, um, I'm teaching you through the feeding of the 5,000 that Christ can do anything. He is the creator of food, and he can multiply the food, and he can um, do anything. I'm teaching you that about myself. And then rebuking. Um, say you've read that passage and then you say, you want to make it personal, you want to put your, insert your own name and say, Roxanne, I'm rebuking you because you have not believed that I can provide for you. Many times you look for where you can find the food instead of from whom. And I'm, when I'm saying food, I'm saying like provisions of any kind, financial or um, spiritual um, or physical, like we need the strength to do something, but we look to other things besides the Lord. Um, and then correcting. Roxanne, I've shown you that you're not depending upon me for provision, so how about um, as I'm correcting you now to be like the disciples who said, here are the two fish and the five loaves. Uh, Roxanne, uh, bring what you have to me. I will correct you in this, that you have not brought what you have to me. And then finally, uh, training in righteousness. Uh, write down or pray out loud in your mind uh, saying, Roxanne, I want to train you to be like uh, myself in that when people bring stuff to you, bring what they have to you, pray, uh, offer that up to God and see how he can multiply it, how he can make it more because we want to be like Christ and Christ did this. So he, that was just an example um, of how to kind of convert what we've studied in the Bible to make it more personal and this is part of meditation and then tomorrow I'm going to talk to you about how to convert those um, messages from the Lord into prayers okay stay in the word